Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom Renji, and this is the start of a brand new Let's Play. So yeah, to start with, I think we're just going to to play the intro for the game, and yeah, let's just wait for the loading to finish. Okay. I mean, I bet you guys already know what's the what's the game I'm playing because of the title and the thumbnail, but here it is. So yeah, there's some very familiar characters if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, I bet you recognize those character design because this is a game that is character designed by the late Akira Toriyama and yeah, this is the Dragon Quest Builders game. Yes, that's actually our protagonist and to share with you guys my experience of playing this game, I haven't really finished playing this game because I don't know. <laughs> I, I forgot where I left I left off. So I don't know the ending story for the for this game. I only finished one one chapter or one world and that's about it. So I'm really excited to be able to play with this game with you guys so yeah so if you guys are not familiar with this game it's like a dragon quest game which is a jrpg mixed with some minecraft mechanics and that's the end of the intro And where's the title screen? Dragon Quest Builders. So yeah, we are actually playing this on my Nintendo Switch. And to start with, let's go ahead and play the game. So I actually have a test file for the game because I wanted to check the audio if recording is good or not so let's go ahead and start from the beginning okay so that's the guy from the intro oh, though art come before me at last i am the dragon lord master of masters king of kings Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so and I will grant unto the unto thee dominion over half this world. Okay, so this is actually hard to read. It's like okay, though wishes not for half the world will do not reconsider. Listen now, for few would refuse. So yeah, I mean, you look like a bad guy, so I'm not I'm not going to help you with that. <laughs> okay. Tom, at last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land. Oh, oh, oh! I, I, I guess, I guess we skipped the character creation because I played the. Uh, I played it before the first part, so yeah. <laughs> so we just went back. I went mean, went straight into the gameplay itself. So I guess that's okay. So beneath the nighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. 
Rise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Okay, so I guess... I guess we're dead. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a grave, right? Okay, so Tom, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? My my name is Tom. Do you remember what you are? I am a builder, I guess. <laughs> I see. So you have no recollection. So we are actually a what do you call this? Um, island protagonist. So don't really voice out our response. <laughs> no matter, indeed. Perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Okay, use the left stick to move around and press B to jump. Have a run around and stretch your legs. Okay, so... How's our character? This is how our character he looks like. Looks like Pan or Goten. I mean, the generic... Um, Akira Toriyama design. Okay, so... Okay. All seems to well. You can fulfill your role. Tom, my child. I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... May what? <laughs> but I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly. But it's not the fate of the world more important than... Than what? <laughs> oh my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at the death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you off of your strength. Okay, so... This is actually... This game has a lot of dialogue, but... The gameplay is really, is really good. I... I've played this game before and I really enjoyed it. I just don't remember why I stopped. Maybe because... I played a, another game, probably, probably Pokemon. Tom, you have been blessed with special power, the power to combine raw materials to build items in here. Okay, so that is going to be our crafting station. So if you guys are familiar with, with Minecraft, this is our crafting Okay, so we should make a healing cream out of the three white petals and wonderful you have made your first creation Tom my child you have a power shared by none other in this world the power to build new things from raw materials just like minecraft <laughs> now use the healing cream you created to tend your to your wounds press x to use the tools and items okay uh-huh Press X. You feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. Okay. With your own two hands. Okay. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost the power of creation. So... Okay, so I think I remember the story for this one. I think we're going to help the citizens of this game or the world, citizens of the world to be able to become a, a crafter or a builder. Okay, so Tom, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your, your young shoulders. You must, you must what? Okay. Hmm. Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place. I guess our <laughs> our character is impatient. I'll show you how to build a path out of the script. Okay, a broken branch. I guess we're going to going to craft a tool for this one. In okay, that humble broken branch, slips a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Let's go ahead and 
create the cypress stick. Okay, so that's our first weapon. I think you can also use that to gather some materials also. And as all great civilizations do, so too they build weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. Come on child, you have been entrusted with the divine mission to... Hmm. I can well imagine you are to see the world outside. Do you not rather learn more of... Very well. <laughs> so impatient. To build a power out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press A to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Um, press A. Okay, so... Stop it. And... Okay. Quit. Well done. Uh-huh, yes, I know that already. Okay, let's break some some items around the area. Tom my child, the glimpse, the hopes, the very fates of your shoulders. Plan is ever again to see the light. You must fulfill your sacred duty and Tom? You're not asleep, are you? <laughs> I mean I mean you bore me out because of the dialogue. <laughs> But perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. Yes, we should continue this conversation outside. To build a part of the space, first you must break apart the co and collect nearby earth. Okay. And I think we can also... Get this? Oh. Nearby earth. Oh. That's a stone. Okay, so this is a nearby earth. We need to pick up... 10 earth blocks. So this is somewhat like our dirt. If we're going to compare it with Minecraft. Okay. Oh. Well done. That should be enough. Okay. Place. Okay. Oh, I see. I see something. I see something else over here. We might need this. Okay. There are some flowers. So the flowers are our source of potion. And I, I wonder if we can get this. Oh no, I guess we can't get the torch. Examine. There is something written on the gravestone. But it is old and warned that the text is illegible. Okay. So I guess that's the place where we should put the earth. Okay. And... Okay, so we built a staircase and... We are now outside. Okay, that's actually... Good. Oh. Oh. I thought I thought it's locked. <laughs> well done, Tom. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world all olive guard before you. So light was lost to this land long ago and now darkness reigns eternal. So there's so many, there's so many questions that needs to be answered. Why, why is the world plunged into the, the dark, into the darkness, and why those people forget that they know how to craft items? I guess we should just find out. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, you can this world be rebuilt, and the people of Alfgard. Arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? I mean... <laughs> Forgive me my child, after having only just awoken. Yes, yes, because I only just have, uh, have awoken. So I don't know 
what's happening around the world and maybe because i was dead you know we saw we saw the grave earlier so i think that's how it is probably it's the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit i i think i remember there's multiple worlds that you need to save for this i mean i'm not sure if it's world or a um what do you call this land or an island probably so yeah anyway um i am rubis the spirit of the land go forth my child and know that i do watch over you always so rubis is probably our guide for this game oh and tom there's one last thing that you must know you are not a hero <gasps> why <laughs> So, if I'm not a hero, what am I? Oh, okay, so that's the outside world, and I guess that's the monsters. And this, this is also a desert area. The land you see before you was once known as Kentlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here. Ringed? How do you pronounce that? Ringed? Ringed? I don't know. Ringed all around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Come, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey. To make elf guard rise once more okay so to this end i'm stowing you onto a gift really hard to oh oh yeah i actually remember that banner i think that's our save point i believe take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you even as the darkness closed in around them the men and women of kentlane to this flag to the bitter end. Um, plant the banner in this land once more that its wonderful light may serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. So, um, I guess the area where the light is shining is called Cantlin. I thought I thought Cantlin was what's the name of this world, <laughs> but I guess it's not. Okay, so this is where we came from. And it's trying to count out the area. I see a dark looming area over there. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess we can also get this. Can we can we punch tree? Oh yes, I guess our weapon is not not good for the tree just yet. Uh I'm not sure if we can get the stump. Oh no. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the area. Oh! We are actually getting damage. I I forgot that this is also this also have a <laughs> um what do you call this? Gravity? No, no, not, not gravity. Fall damage. Okay. What's what's the bird's idea? Oh, okay, so we can use this for being a bar. There's so many, there's so many um, flowers. So I guess we should go collect that before we go over there. Oh. Um, I guess 15 should be enough so that we can make a healing cream five healing cream okay so we are now here and i guess let's use the banner a warm and soothing light spreads all around 
people near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Okay, so... Oh, okay. There's another person. But for that, we should just save first. So I guess this is the good st stopping point for our first episode of the Dragon Quest Builders series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. And let's try to rebuild this place, I guess. So yeah, bye.